big or small it doesn't matter you can count on me to keep you updated on every single thing happening on the global version of dokkan and last night we got some news regarding a very easy event and a lot of improvements are going to be making very very soon to it but before i go ahead and get into that i need to catch a few people lacking really quickly with a very quick subscriber challenge just just don't lie to me okay be honest you know you know where i'm going with this all right if you have performed and you know what i'm going to i'm going to give you not a chance i'm going to i'm going to be nice here if you've done two or more multis on this banner two or more multis on this banner you know who you are you can't run away you can't click off this video you got call like and today you got to subscribe to the channel it is what it is i was gonna say one multi but again i'm being nice it is the christmas season you're welcome merry freaking christmas to you okay but if you've done more than two multis on this banner Sorry, if you haven't done more than two multis, you can skip today's subscriber challenge. I will catch you lacking in the next one. Just don't, don't do it, okay? Sounds good? Okay, let's hop into this video. So, what I want to talk about here is actually an update that's coming, I think, in five days for this event right here. The Study Hard, Play Hard, Turtle Schools Intensive Training. Everyone, for whatever reason, I think really uh, under underrates the importance of logging into Dokkan and completing certain things every single day and this event i'm telling you right now is one of them okay as of right now you can obtain 50 dragon stones from this event within the missions let me actually let, let me just prove that to you really quickly before we actually hop into the updates that way you know there's proof behind uh what i'm saying here hopefully dokkan decides to load let me know if dokkan's taking too long to load for you for whatever reason for me things are taking a little bit too long nothing too crazy though but hopefully I don't have to edit, you know, I don't have to edit this out if it's taking too, too long. But as I was saying, that event currently, if you completed a total of, a, what, 150 times, it gives you a total of 50 Dragon Zones. And again, that's nothing crazy. That's, you know, one multi. But that's one free multi that you get for completing a super easy event. And you can't discount all the other rewards as well. Let me go ahead and scroll to this event. There you go. Uh, okay. Yeah, 14 missions in total. 50 dragon stones to obtain simply doing this event once a day every single day uh now i will say i have been lacking on this event uh ever since i completed these missions i have been doing it you know every try to do it at least every day there's days where i definitely forget and i like that dokkan is doing this because it makes me want to hop back into it so again when it comes to the update here dokkan is adding a new difficulty uh, where you can get even more training items, Hercule statues, and character EXP can be obtained. Uh, in addition, it'll be easier to level up your link skill. So this is just a massive W all across the board. And when it comes to an event like this, an extra difficulty is not going to change. Like, you're going to be able to clear this with, like, you know, like, it's not going to be difficult at all. Um, there's also a chance for launch to appear and replace Roshi as the boss and I'm going to show you in a second what you actually get if you defeat launch but I also want to mention that there's an an extra set of missions dropping with this update dropping on the 10th by the way yeah so basically five days from when I'm recording this um and you get an extra 55 dragon stones from those missions so there's a total of 105 dragon stones you can now obtain by clearing this event every single day on top of getting an an increased link level chance, a lot of character XP, a lot of Hercule statues, and a lot of training items as well. This is a super free-to-play friendly event. If you're, this does not exist. This actually, this event dropped on December 3rd last year, right? So it's been it's been around for a year. Before this, there was there really wasn't an amazing way for new players to hop in and obtain all this type of stuff. So this I think is a massive W, and I can't wait to see how they improve this in the future. Maybe I don't know, two runs per day three runs per day maybe another difficulty we'll have to see how that works right but if i go over here really quickly and show you this, this is you know this is just more info on the actual event here but as you guys can see in te instead of not in ted instead of ten thousand character exp you do get now twenty thousand character exp definitely a lot more in terms instead of seventy thousand rank exp you now get two hundred thousand rank exp definitely good for ranking up uh instead of seventy thousand zenny for clearing the stage you get four hundred thousand zenny for clearing the stage again very very good and then uh here you go so in z hard there's a chance that launch will replace master roshi and if you beat her you get 7.5 mil zenny and a master Ro not a master roshi an elder kai yeah i don't know why i said master roshi an elder kai there so this is technic technically infinite kais but not really 
uh, because I don't really, I, I would assume that the chance of getting launched is extremely rare. I would say maybe like once every 20, 15, 10 runs. Obviously, it'll change because it's just RNG at the end of the day per person. But keep in mind that this is like you, if you run this event once a, a month, the chance of you getting one Kai is obviously, you know, not that great, right? But if you run this 30 times in the span of an entire month, you might get two Kai. You might get one. You still might get zero, right? But the, the, you're giving yourself a chance at, at seeing this every single time you hop in. So, again, a massive... I, 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 the reason why I consider this a massive hype update, even though it's nothing too, too crazy, is because it just shows that Dokkan is still willing um, to... It, to increase the value of really easy events that just benefits the free-to-play players or players that can't really spend too much. I know that free-to-play players make up a massive part of the Dokkan community, and I used to be free-to-play. So if I was if I was still free-to-play to this day, I would appreciate the F out of, you know, an event like this. And so I know many people watching me are also still free-to-play, and I sympathize, or not I sympathize, but I, I feel that. So to me, this is a big update. I love that Dokkan is still willing to show this event love, that they're not forgetting about it, and means that we could potentially expect more things like this in the future. I love it when Dokkan um, does things like this, where, again, makes it easier. If you if you play Dokkan back in the day, you know how difficult you know how difficult it was to awaken characters. There would all there would be like a like a sur there would be like a moment. So like you you start Dokkan, you know the first month or two were you know completely fine. And then, like, starting, like, the ninth week, you know, third month, you'd completely run out of these. Any trading items whatsoever. You have no zenny, nothing. And over the t over time, Dokkan has just become so much better with providing these resources for newer players. So that's why, again, I think it's super important. Again, not the craziest update for, you know, whales and whatnot, but it's still free to play stones. It's still free trading items, still free zenny, still free everything. So why not take advantage of it? Um, it's just, there's really no reason to do it please make sure you're getting this done every single day at least at least until you complete all the missions but also keep in mind also keep in mind um that i think the mission stack i i think i saw that on on twitter but let's just say for example let's just say back to dokkan here right let's say I have, you have to complete this event uh you know 300 times on twitter i think i saw truth mention this or someone else where after you clear it for the first time after the new update all like the in, every run that you did will base it, it every run you're still doing to this day even though you've completed the 150 runs they're still being counted so i think that if you've been doing it this entire time you might be able to actually earn some of those stones immediately instead of having to again restart completely from missions i think that's how it works maybe i'm wrong we'll have to see when it actually drops again i don't really wait i don't really read too much into new things on jp especially when it comes to updates because I like to, you know, unless I have to make a video about it, right? But I tend to like to experience things on Global Dokkan first. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this, you know, relatively quick video. Just wanted to go ahead and give you my thoughts and everything you can expect when it comes to this new uh, update for this event. Uh, please, please, please stop summoning on this banner, okay? I know it's hype. Anniversary events are back. That's cool and all. But last thing you want to do uh is have no stones for a potentially really hype really hype end of the year again hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one take care and peace